the British Union of Fascists planned to mark their fourth birthday with a highly provocative march through the East End of London. A great counter demonstration was planned, and in the end, the black shirts were actually persuaded by the police commissioner to turn around. Most of the black shirts did so under the command of their leader, Sir Oswald Mosley, who, incidentally, had to be in Berlin two days later for a secret wedding to Diana Mosley at the home of the Goebbelses. Nonetheless, violence did break out. Barricades went up, banners were raised with the slogans of the Spanish Civil War, and there were violent clashes between protesters and police. The Battle of Cable Street has gone down in history as one of the most symbolically important moments of resistance to fascism and racism in Britain. Historians, invited guests, and the filmmaker Yoav Siegel are coming together at the University of Sheffield for a commemorative event to mark the 80th anniversary of this very important moment, to consider the way political movements impact public memory and the way these meanings change over time. The Battle of Cable Street represents an important flashpoint of mounting political, racial, and ethnic strife in Britain in the 1930s. This was made all the more poignant due to the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War that summer. Importantly, there are lessons to be learned from the Battle of Cable Street to this day. Analogies can be drawn, parallels can be made, and lessons can be learned about how to overcome divisions based on ethnicity, politics, and ideological division. Well, I'm delighted to have you here with us, Yoav, at the University of Sheffield um, for this uh, special event to commemorate the 80th anniversary of Cable Street, Political right. Movements, Memory and Meaning. Uh, and we've invited you here because you made a film 10 years ago uh, about your own grandfather's experience and beautifully produced uh, as well. Uh, and it's a real pleasure to have you here to talk to our, our staff and our students about the making of that film and what it means to you. Um. My grandfather was one of the people who helped organise the Battle of Cable Street. The Battle of Cable Street was a popular demonstration against Oswald Mosley, who in 1936 wanted to march his black shirts, who were um, fascists, through what was then a Jewish area called Stepney, um, as a kind of act of provocation after lots of previous um, rhetoric and anti-Jewish sentiment. Um, he was a populist politician, he saw what was happening with Hitler, and he wanted to kind of be a wannabe British fascist leader. Um, the Jews, communists, Irish workers, trade unions all came together, uh, posted the area, raised money, and got between the numbers uh, between 75,000 or 300,000, depending on how you, how, whose version of the story you take. And my grandfather was a 19 year old trade unionist. He was in the Taylors Union, who was sent as a representative to the big meetings and then was involved in the demonstration. On the day, was kicked through a window by a police horse and was dragged to um, one of the stations they had where they bandaged people up. So did he remember this as a confrontation with the fascists or actually as a confrontation with the police? It was uh, with the police. So the Battle of Cable Street wasn't really Jews, communists and kind of workers fighting with the fascists was actually the police were trying to clear a path and the organisers very carefully worked out that if they blocked certain routes the only option would be down Cable Street and the Irish dockers had a yard where they prepared a barricade that they knew if the police tried to clear that would be one of the thumb they they'd use they could slide a barricade in the way and so at that barricade was where the Battle of Cable Street happened and that's the iconic kind of moment from the day. But as yeah, you're right, it was a it was a pitch battle between the uh, demonstrators and the police. Yeah, could you tell us what you think the, the real and the most powerful contemporary resonances are of the Battle of Cable Street? Um, obviously we're not in the nineteen thirties and sometimes the comparisons kind of fall down a bit. But we're in a period where popular politics is using basically racist and otherly language that um, casts immigrants in a inaccurate and negative light mm. to score points and when possible economic or socio-political reasons are to blame, they're blamed on immigrants. Um, and that's what happened in the 1930s and at that point the J Jewish East Londoners were a recent immigrant group who were getting the blame. Afterwards in the East End it happened to other immigrant groups 
and now it's happening to Poles or Eastern Europeans. And so it's strangely resonant with each generation. Again, thanks very much for joining us in Sheffield for this great event, and, and we hope you come back. The Battle of Cable Street, of course, took place in the East End of London. So why Sheffield? Why are we having the event here? Well, there are two good reasons. One is because of the concentration of research expertise in the Department of History. And second is because the University of Sheffield Library, its special collections, has one of the richest resources for the study of British political extremism in the 20th century.